Hey guys, it's uh, Derek with Big Fella Gear here. Um, this may be a little random, but we do so much in the kayaks, we do so much in the grilling, and that I uh, figured you guys would, most guys have trucks and would want to know about this. I did not know these things exist. Um, I've got a, uh, well, you can kind of see it there. Um, I've got a Dodge 1500 quad cab, uh, or forgive me, Ram 1500, uh, with the, the crew cab, whatever the big one is. Um, I never knew this thing existed. And, uh, um, my the guy who's got the shop next to me in our in our uh, industrial complex has one of these and I saw it and I was like that is the coolest thing I must get one and I did uh, this is the swing case from undercover um, this thing was it was less than 200 bucks on 179 189 169 something like that it was it was call it 180 uh, one side or another I got it off Amazon um, this thing is awesome uh, as you can see it's just it's an overarch uh yeah it's just it's an overarch toolbox it's not big at all but what i didn't want to do for the boats and everything is i didn't want to take up any bed space this thing sticks out it's basically even with the bottom of the rear uh, or with the bottom of the wheel well um and i mean it doesn't stick out at all it doesn't take up any time so anyway i just i'll give you a little uh you know i this isn't what i normally would do i don't know if i can get the gopro to get them to stick there or not if you guys can see that um but i just i <laughs> i got excited when i saw this thing um i got a lock on it and this is just a lock honestly so you can't take it off the truck um although honestly what i realized after the fact is for anybody who's got the newer trucks like this ram the you can only take this thing up and off if this is swung out and uh the, on the rams when you lock the tailgate or when you lock the truck the tailgate locks which means realistically i wouldn't even have to lock this thing i just i have it but uh the lock's not included for the record and you can see kind of it's just a little swing through but this thing i installed this thing in five minutes uh, i had to cut through you'll see here in a minute but you you can't I, i've got it locked right now so you can't really uh you can't really open it um but all it is, is it's got a waterproof or you know weatherproof lockable uh latch up here like i said it's locked it's got a little tray if you want to keep stuff in it while you're just like working. I've kept wrenches there while I'm working on stuff. It's got a couple little drink holders. But this thing is slick. You pull that handle, this thing is sturdy. You would expect that to be chintzy up and down. It is not. It is very sturdy. Um, and you can see there's just some self-tappers. There's four self-tappers back here and two up in front. I had to kind of cut a channel because this isn't a spray-in. This is one of the lay-in bed liners. Uh, but this thing literally, and then I cut this here, it took me, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe, five, 10 minutes to put in. Um, and it is just super cool. You can, uh, like I said, it's just slip on hinges here. So it's nothing. You can just lift this up and take the whole thing off if you want to, if you wanted to put it in the garage or take it somewhere. Um, and then that's a solid connection. As like I said, this thing, for me, for kayaking, um, really all I keep in it is you know it's got a little tray i basically just keep my ratchet straps and my hitch in there i was working on some electric stuff there so uh these matches and everything have been in here for a couple weeks it's watertight uh i mean reasonably speaking it comes down it does have it's gasketed so i mean it's it's relatively watertight um the only possible not even a complaint, but design that could be improved on this that I can think of are two things. Um, number one, when this is shut and latched, you can open it, but you can't really open it all the way. So if you're trying to get at it like I do from over here, not only can you not open it all the way, but um, it would be, so it would be nice if this could be offset somehow, though then you're gonna lose bed space, which is the whole design. I, I don't know, but it looks like if they hinged it, some, I, I don't know. I don't know if they could do it or not. It, this thing is awesome the way it is. I'm certainly not complaining, but like I said, that, that's, that would be nice if you could open it, you know, from the side. Uh, I'm 6'3", so it's not a huge deal. And the other thing that would be nice is if they had some way to do a cylinder lock here that matched that, because as you can see, I got, you know, two different keychains on my, or two different keys on my keychain. But again, swing case from undercover, you get it on the Amazon for um, and you can get left and right. I will say something that they don't tell you, but you kind of figure out on your own. Uh, my neighbors got the left and rights. You can't open both of them at the same time because they do come slightly over halfway. But man, I'm here to tell you guys, this thing is sturdy. It is, it's really cool. So if you haven't heard of them before, run out and get one. It's a great way to keep nasty stuff out of the cab of your truck. Uh, yeah, and that's what I use it for. So I really like it. Um, hope you guys enjoy.